Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jen Gianni, and today we're going to be adding on from our previous video about creating that just Goldilocks right amount of movement of our clavicle, that posterior rotation that the clavicle should go into when we inhale, when we turn our head, when we bring the arm up and over our head. So we're going to be using a wall and our yoga block and then also our mini tennis ball that we're going to place underneath the clavicle bone, right underneath, so that the, you feel that the ball is kind of lifting or holding the clavicle up, like uh, what we did on the chair in the previous video where we used our index finger to lift and hold the clavicle up. Now, one thing that you have to um, be really aware of here is this is a very delicate area of our body. So you don't want to use a really hard ball. You want the ball to, ha to have some give, to be well used, to not be too hard. And you also don't want to stay in the area too, too long. When you're doing the release, it's very common that you're not going to feel pain or too much tension at the time. But if you use too much force, if you stay there for too long, the next day you're going to be really, really sore and you could damage some things. So um, just spend a small amount of time in this area and please use a soft ball. So we're going to have the yoga block on the wall and this acts as a negative space, which is really nice. And then we're going to put the ball on the yoga block. And we're really going to try to get that ball right underneath the clavicle so we feel like the ball is pushing the clavicle up. Now at first, it's a good idea to hold onto your yoga block until you feel really safe, that your yoga block is not going to slip. You want to find a foot and leg position that's comfortable, that you can really reach yourself into the ball, into the wall. And then here, you can start to trace the ball underneath your clavicle. So here it's like you're excavating the area underneath your clavicle. And then you can decide on a spot, hold there and breathe, right? And to advance, you can take that same side arm. You may not be able to see my arm here, maybe if I bring it down, but you can take that side, same side arm and start to glide it on the wall. Um, while keeping that same like Goldilocks amount of pressure into the ball. And I would say no more than about 30 to 40 seconds in one spot. And then of course you can move to another spot underneath the clavicle if you have time. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.